So continuing on from yesterday, uh, talking about your dogs eliminating indoors, uh, we talked about that this could be because of uh, not being properly trained. Today's topic is to cover out, you know, if your dog is properly trained and they're still doing it indoors, then the other thing to see would be, is this because of separation anxiety? What do I mean by that? Yeah, if you're a working professional who keeps your dogs alone in the house when you go out to work, and you know for a long period of time with nobody to take care of them then that means your dog is going to develop suppression anxiety if they have already not uh, it would pretty much depend on how long you've been doing this right um so what happens with suppression anxiety one of the things that we need to realize is that dogs are a pack animal you would hardly see dogs outside also you know going out alone they generally tend to form like to form a group and move around play with that group be with that group so when you adopt or rescue or buy your pet, you are including them in your group. So, you know, you become part of their group, they become part of your group. And when you leave them alone, they don't like it. Uh, most often than not, separation anxiety uh, tends to show up as a destructive behavior in pets, where, you know, when you come home, you would see that your sofa has been chewed upon, your shoes has been chewed upon, or... Uh, you know, clothes are torn, it can happen. All of that is because of separation anxiety. How do you identify that? Pretty uh, easy. If your pet is doing all this destructive behavior, then it is separation anxiety. If you feel that they are well trained and they're still doing this, it is separation anxiety. How do you deal with that? Hey, you deal with that by showing them a lot of love. By showing them a lot of love. You can spend time outside, away from them, but when you come back, spend time with them play with them um yes you can take your dog out for a walk but you know i am one of those people who feel that when you take your dog out of walk you're just taking them out for a walk you're not spending time with them spending time with them is you know playing with them cuddling with them you know let, letting them feel you letting them touch you you touch them let them know that there is a bond right so <clears throat> i did put in an article sometime about the different games i play with my pets so okay uh, read that if you want but that's how it is that's how you deal with separation anxiety i mean you obviously cannot leave your job but it's also about once you come back spend time with them um you can also consult a vet or a professional on the other things that you could do um how you could ensure that when you leave for your work or leave them alone it does not have such a big impact on them. You know, there are tips and tricks of how you do that. But the major thing is to ensure that your dogs know that you're there for them. So once you come back, spend quality time with them so that you know they are not always feeling left out. Thank you.